Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris. Thank you for checking out today's video. Today we are looking at the Arteryx Therm Parka. So this is a really, really nice down insulated warm winter jacket. Um, we're going to tell you all about it and we're going to um, show you all of its features and the way it fits as well. So um, again, thanks for checking out the videos. If you're new here, I have a ton of videos all on all different jackets from brands like Arteryx, Patagonia, Rab, Heli Hansen, Norina, and quite a few other things thrown in along the way. Um, we look at all kinds of outdoor gear, um, basically what to wear when we go out there, when we're hiking, trekking, skiing, um, climbing, all that fun stuff. Please check out my website, www.meandmyjackets.com, where you can see all kinds of information that kind of expands on this channel a bit. So again, thank you very much for watching. I want to jump right into it. So yeah, here we have the Arteryx Therm Parka. So this is a jacket I've been wanting to do a review on for a while. Um, this is definitely a nice warm jacket. Uh, while I want to tell you a lot of things about this jacket, I also want to kind of keep this video a little quicker because I'm getting hot already um, <laughs> wearing this thing. Um, so this is a 700 fill goose down jacket. Um, it does have some synthetic insulation around the collar and in the hood, um, as well as I think on the shoulders and possibly down the side here a little bit um, and around the bottom. Everything else, the whole body of the jacket is goose down. So a very nice warm jacket. Now this jacket is a regular fit. It is very casual fitting. It's very um, relaxed fitting, okay? Um, it's, it's more of a, I see it as an urban jacket, something to wear around town every day. If you work in a city, you commute to work, um, you know, you go out to dinner with your friends, your family. Um, I, that's what I see this jacket. Um, I don't think this is a jacket you're going to be wearing, um, you know, skiing down the slopes or climbing up a mountain, okay? Um, it's just a little more refined. It's a little more, I don't want to say dressy because it's not like you're not going to wear this with like a jacket and tie kind of thing. But it definitely is a little cleaner style um, and very nice, I, I think. I think it looks great. Um, <laughs> so... The other thing with this jacket is maybe um, it would be great like if you're at a ski resort and you know you're not down the slopes maybe one night you're hanging around the lodge you know the hotels you're going out to dinner in town exploring around town this is a great jacket for that right so definitely um, really nice um, like I said it is a regular fit. There is plenty of room inside this jacket, okay? Um, you can definitely layer underneath it if you need it, if it's really, really cold outside. Um, but it is just a kind of casual, relaxed fitting jacket. Um, I am six foot two, 215 pounds. This is a size extra large. So all my jackets, um, you know, I buy are extra large and they all fit a little bit differently, right? Depending on the style. But this uh, Therm definitely gives you more room. Now it's not huge, all right? It's not giant, but there, it is a comfortable, relaxed fit. There's definitely room in here for layers, so not a problem. Um, the other thing with this jacket that's really nice, the outer uh, face fabric here is, is tough. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice material, um, but it is a tougher material, so it is more durable for everyday use, and it does have a Gore-Tex membrane. So it's tough, and it's waterproof and windproof. So it's definitely really nice if you're out in the rain, the snow, right, a cold wind. This is a great jacket to have. Now, this is the Therm Parka. There is also a Therm Parka SV. Now, the SV stands for uh, Severe Conditions, okay? Um, it's basically the same jacket as this, the only two differences. 
Um, the Therm SV is slightly a little bit longer than this jacket and the Therm SV has down insulation around the collar and in the hood where this is a synthetic insulation. So that will have a little puffier, uh, warmer hood um, and a little more length than the Therm Parka. Now, last year I bought in fall of 2022, uh, actually, I'm sorry, um, or was it 20? No, 2022, it wasn't last 23. Um, I bought the Therm jacket, okay? Now I have a whole nother video on this channel about the Therm jacket, um, but this is very different than the Therm Parka, as this is just a synthetic insulated jacket. Um, it's shorter. Uh, you can check out that whole video, and I will be doing another video um, very soon comparing these two jackets. Now, at the time, at present time, this Therm jacket is not available uh, through Arteryx. They, they haven't uh, added it to their fall winter catalog for this year. Um, but there is the Therm Parka and the Therm Parka SV instead, okay? Um, but maybe they'll bring this back someday. So I do want to do another separate video comparing these two pieces. So you have it and you know it. And if you ever come across that jacket, it's really nice. You'll know all about it. All right. So um, going over some features here, this, this has a nice um, chest pocket up top here. Okay. It's a, definitely a nice size pocket. Um, it zips up and it kind of has like a little flap of material over the zipper so it's kind of concealed and protected um, you know from the weather and just clean clean lines you know it's out of the way <clears throat> when you pull up the hood on this um, it's a nice size hood okay it's not like a helmet compatible hood but it's pr plenty big there is a drawstring here in the back that you can pull it tight but what I wanted to show you is in the front of this jacket, when you zip this up, there's an additional flap that comes over the front and, and snaps in with a snap button here and a snap button here. So it's just a little extra protection, you know, around your neck. And it's a little, probably more style, stylish look more than anything else, but it really does seal it up and close it up, all right? So we open it up. It does have a double zipper here, all right, on the bottom. So well, I can show you, but uh, it is a, a you know a little nice function. I, I like the double zippers. I know sometimes a lot of jackets have double zippers um, for climbing, so you have access to your harness and stuff a little better. But I like the double zipper as just a way to just vent, let out some hot air without unzipping the whole jacket. Right, you can just pull one zipper down and you got it. Um, this jacket has, I said, the two buttons up top here that are up around the neck, around your collar. It also has a button here on the very bottom by the zipper that you can snap shut to just to kind of hold everything closed. And the jacket um, does not have a pull cord on the bottom to adjust the bottom, okay? This is one of the few jackets that Arteryx makes that does not have that pull cord on the bottom. Um, inside the jacket, you can see nice down insulation here. Um, and then on the sides, under the armpits and down, is a synthetic insulation. There is a nice pocket here, nice deep pocket, definitely big enough to put a lot of, you know, anything in, all right, um, which is really nice here. No pocket on this side, but you do have the pocket on the outside over here. So one internal pocket, one external pocket, two nice warm pockets here on the sides. Um, and then the cuffs, there's no adjustable cuff on this, but there is a little like spandex um, stretchy material that wraps around your wrist. So if I pull the sleeve up, you'll see that little spandex thing that comes around your wrist to keep the cold air and wind, whatever, from getting up inside the jacket. And like I said, this is a Gore-Tex um, membrane in here. 
So you will stay waterproof, you will stay windproof, and it really actually adds a lot more um, ability. It is breathable, but it also holds in more heat than you would think as well. So, you know, I find even like with this um, therm jacket here, this is only a 40 um, GSM core loft insulation inside here. So it's not a very heavy insulation, but with that Gore-Tex and the, the rougher, heavier outer fabric on here, um, it definitely keeps you warm. All right? So that's um, pretty much this jacket. Oh, also I wanted to show you, this jacket has kind of like a, a collar built in that wraps around your neck nicely. Um, it's, it's a nice addition. Um, this jacket has it as well. So if I take it off, you can kind of see this little extra collar in here, okay? Um, which, is, which is nice, because it comes around your neck and it really seals you up really nice and warm. So, very nice jacket. Again, a synthetic insulated ho hood and around the neck. Um, and the rest of the jacket is a lot of goose down. So, very nice. It gives you a little extra length. And it's a parka, okay? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, what am I doing here? I'm putting my hand in the hood. Okay. Um, but really nice fit. So while the jacket is a little bit more of a regular fit, it seems to give you more space in the mid body section, like around the, the chest and you know, around the mid section, there's plenty of room. Um, but the sleeve length, right? And the cut on the shoulders is very nice. So it's not like big and bulky and baggy and hanging. It's really, it really fits me nice on the sleeves and the shoulders. There's just extra room through the middle here. So <laughs> I know with my Therm jacket, one of my favorite pieces to wear underneath it is this cerium. So I have this cerium jacket and it fits just beautifully underneath, you know, both of these. So you can kind of just see how much room you actually have. So a nice lightweight down jacket underneath this down jacket, if you need it, will fit just fine. All right, let me just zip this all up here. Okay, so this makes it fit like, like a glove, all right? Really nice, and this is gonna be super warm if you need it, okay? So, yeah, here you go. The Therm Parka from Arteryx. So remember, the only difference between the Therm Parka and the Therm Parka SV is the SV is slightly longer, and the SV has down around the neck and in the hood. Um, other than that, they're basically identical. All right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is a really nice jacket. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you back again soon. We'll be doing some more videos. Um, look, like I said, um, comparing this one to the Therm jacket here. And you can always watch my full length video on that Therm jacket here on the channel as well. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you back again soon. Take care and have a great day. Bye.